Beginning uh, in late February, early March, we started larviciding the entire city. Um, we also do, our inspectors do a great job of source reduction and that's our number one uh, defense against the spread of and the you know the spread of mosquito-borne illness but in general just keeping the mosquito population at bay what we're doing currently is we're going around the affected area uh, we're reapplying larvicide as we've done you know all throughout the summer and larvicide is a, a type of chemical that is designed to inhibit the growth of mosquitoes and so it effectively keeps them from hatching and uh, it's applied to a any place that has standing water or the potential for standing water in the hours of the early morning tomorrow, we're gonna be coming through and uh, trying to knock out uh, the adult mosquito population in the area. And that involves uh, a different kind of chemical which is called adulticiding because we're killing the adult mosquitoes. Another thing we do is we, throughout uh, the mosquito season is we trap in different areas of the city. And what that is is we have uh, these little uh, Think, uh, little traps that are designed to actually collect mosquitoes um, and what we do is we collect those mosquitoes and we send them off to a laboratory for testing and we do that throughout the city throughout the mosquito season to try to gauge if we're having a problem if there's a you know an escalated uh, number of mosquitoes in a certain area it doesn't take but a cap full of water for mosquitoes to breed and they only need um, seven to ten days to hatch from you know the eggs hitting the water to them hatching we like to really encourage citizens to look at their property with new eyes, look for anything that could be holding water and empty that water out so that you can reduce the population. If you have a flower pot that's, you know, saturated with water, it's holding water on top, they can breed in that. If you have kids' toys, a big problem that we have is clogged uh, gutters. Our inspectors are more than willing to uh, help you get rid of any kind of source of uh, breeding sites for mosquitoes. We really, really strongly encourage citizens when you're uh, going out in the evening, you're going to a ball game, you're you know going to dinner, take an extra minute and put on some uh, mosquito repellent. You want to use something that has a, a effective concentration of a, of a chemical that's approved to uh, repel mosquitoes. I have small children so that's what I think about first when I'm worrying about how to how to protect the citizens. I'm thinking, you know, I, I want people's kids to be safe. I want their families to be safe. We want to, we don't want anybody to catch any kind of nasty disease that can, you know, hurt their fun summer plans. DHEC does a great job of, of educating the public about preventative measures, what's going on in the state, uh, what, what you can do to keep yourself and your family safe. What we're trying to do here is we're trying to knock out any of those uh, mosquitoes that are positive for West Nile and moving forward you know we're unfortunately they mosquitoes been around for millions and millions of years so we're not going to be able to get rid of all rid of all of them but we want to get rid of the ones that are possibly infected because we want to protect the citizens uh, as quickly and as safely as possible.